Oh, there we go. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. And welcome back to Pokemon Gold. Hang on. <clears throat> yeah, let me check something in the radio. Oh, something doesn't... S yeah. What's it say? No, it just sounds like the regular... Like, when I go to... Oak's Pokemon Talk... It just goes to the regular... Stuff. Well, then we know what we have to do. The gym leader? Mm-hmm. Alright. Because, I mean, he... Because, I mean, we... I guess we have to get seven badges. I couldn't remember off the top of my head. Ah. Let's see who I remember using. Or at least who's in front. Still a few more levels to go before he evolves. Um... Yeah, sheep. Yep. Now sheep is bald. <laughs> the best way to put it. I guess. <laughs> I mean, technically... What do you mean, technically? He's got... First, just not as fluffy. Right. And then again, he does get that fluff back in his, um, yeah, Mega Evolution. Yeah, but unfortunately we don't have that, uh, in this game. Nope, not until, like, Gen 6, until it's forgotten about it after Gen 7. Yeah, just tackle the dugong. That'll do it. About to use another seal. A thunder punch, please. A tackle. Save again. Even don't turn off the power. But the question is, can you still get like um Swinub? I think that's what they're called. Before the radio tower or Soggy? What? Can you still get a Swinub before the radio tower? Um, 
trying to think. I'm trying to remember if... I'm trying to remember if the move got... if the... Alright. I'm trying to remember if the guy moves before, um... Before you beat the, the radio tower, or you have to wait until after for him to move, I forget. Let me see. I suppose we'll check it out after. So, are these guys gonna have any other ice types besides Seal and Dugong? That is, if Seal is like, um, a water and ice type? Seal is only a water type, but... At least it's something different this time. Wow! Ah, uh, here we go. In Generation 2, he will disappear after the player obtains seven Johto badges. Oh, okay. I was about to say, you know, for an attack that wasn't effective against a Swinub, Sludge did a really good job. Get out of here, G-Force experience! Line up. Of course it's gonna use Endure. <laughs> Outer snow. <laughs> well, they didn't do much. I'm not gonna lie, because Swine Up is part ground type, poison doesn't work too good. Right. But like I said, at least Sludge is doing a good job. I forgot about totally forgot to turn off the menu in VTube Studio. Whoops. Let me heal everyone up real quick. That moment I was pressing B, I thought um I could use the running shoes, but that wasn't introduced until Gen 3. Yeah, the best Pokemon generation. Yeah, well, there is one way to make your life easier. How so? Well, you have something else that'll get you around relatively fast. Oh, yeah, the bike. I mean, it's probably not a good idea to use the bike in the... It probably won't use the bike in the gym, but... <laughs> yeah. Why don't we just deal with the gyms 
the members first before we deal with the leader. Shelter. Is it water and ice or just water? Water. It doesn't turn into an ice type until it evolves. Oh, okay. Oh, that was a horrible idea. Because he's a flying type, and flying types are weak to, um... Ice, ice. moves. Yeah. yeah. At least I managed to take it down, so that's good. A big papa is level 30. Five more till... He becomes wheezing. Hmm. to remember is ground type or ice types weak to ground types or is it the opposite soggy what is ground type weak to or weak to ice type or is it the opposite uh not ground i don't think ground is weak to ice let's give this a try Alright. This is also a water type, there's that. Yeah, but also Cloyster has a ridiculous amount of physical defense. You may as well switch to sheep and use a thunder punch and get it over with. Yeah, considering Kimble just got confused, so now I have to switch to um sheep to help out. Yeah, well I'm saying sheep will take it out in one hit, because its special defense sucks. Ah, uh, yeah. No, I will say, I'm glad I got sheep in the team for this, um, playthrough. Because Ampharos is actually pretty good. I'll to you, Shelder. Yeah, I don't know if Sludge is, like, special or physical attack. What secret is that? Your waterfall daily. Okay. <laughs> you know, I will say this if I wanted. Yeah, for a similar game, if I want to play something like Dragon Quest Monsters, from what I know, especially for the first one, 
I have to beat like um, Dragon Quest VI just to get the Id an idea for one of the characters in it. I think I got this one. <laughs> What's safe? Just to be safe? <laughs> is that a typo or is his name actually Bryce, not like Bryce? Soggy. What? Is his name Price or Bryce? Bryce. Oh. I thought it was Bryce the whole time. Yeah, at least they fix that bug for Gen 2. Her goals are actually effective against psychic types. Yeah. Well, ghost type moves, yeah. It doesn't necessarily have to be by a ghost type, because Kimball's not a ghost type. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, like... The anime did say that psychics are weak against ghosts, but in the game, it was bugged where they weren't. That's why I always recommend if they want to try out, like, um, the Kanto region, just play Fire Red and Leaf Green. It's not as janky as, like, um, as, like, Gen 1. No. But if you, but I'm gonna be honest, if people want an experience closer to what Gen 1 was actually like, with a few caveats, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee is probably better. Yeah, but it, <laughs> all the, you know, like the wild Pokemon system works and all that, it's not the same. No, it's not the same, but I'm talking about the main gameplay. I'm talking about the fact that Pokemon don't have, that in that one, Pokemon don't have abilities. Ah, uh, yeah. I suppose that makes sense. And I got it. I put out cheap first just to be safe. Oh, jeez, so arrogant he is. Oh, okay, so it's a seal. Oh my god. <laughs> jeez, if you need to add that E to, um, seal, you already know what that reminds me of. For example, Honkai Star Rail. Isla Swine. Hmm.
I could... Oh, I could use, um, Steve Irwin against Pile of Swine? Interesting. Yeah, because I could just use Surf against... against it. Now he's going to waste it up, waste a potion on the pile of swine. Told ya. I assume he has two like the other ones, right? What'd you say? He has two potions like the other ones, right? I think so. But if you knock him out right away, you might not see him. Like, most of the time I don't see him because I usually one-hit KO his Pokemon. Well, the pile of swine is down. And now to take on the Dugong. Isn't that like his MVP, pile of swine? Yes. Ah. Uh. I wonder how long it's going to be asleep. <laughs> He's not so tough, are you, Price? <laughs> Appreciate that. Glacier badge? Yeah, so let's see if we can pick up our very last Pokemon in the team. Icy Wind. Oh, okay, so we could go to... Yeah, go to the cave to pick up our last Pokemon. Yeah, I forgot to put Strider in front. Time to fly? 
I don't know how side beam is gonna work against um oh it's down against a psychic type. What did she get me? You know, I will say this as well. If I could, like, <laughs> whatever. Like, if Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire came on the Switch Online thingy. I'm I think gonna I'd. Be honest, I'm gonna be honest with you. If they were going to do that, they'd probably put Gen 1 and 2 on there first. Right. I was gonna because say, I, I would spend. Put, oh, go they on. Put, they put Stadium. You know, they went through the trouble of putting Stadium on the Nintendo 64 Switch Online, so it would make it would be a lot easier to put Gens 1 and 2 on there first. Right. But I was gonna say, if it did, did came out then, I'd probably just be playing it at the dog park all the time. Are you still sore that you didn't get those Mega Man ones? What's up? You were talking about playing at the dog park, and I said, are you sorry you didn't get those Mega Man... Oh, I do have, head? like, the classic ones. I play them here and there. No, I meant... You know the Split Pad Pros? Remember when you showed me them, and then when I showed you those... I showed you those Mega Man ones, and you're like... Crap. Wait, what are you talking about? Oh, yeah, the Split Pad! I remember that! I don't know, like, maybe I'll probably pick one up. I could just use the one I bought as, you know, as backup in case the other one breaks. Well, that's the thing. They're ridiculously tough. They don't break that easy, so... Oh. But like you, but like you said, you know, it'd be a pain for you to return them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, um... <laughs> Better, better remind me to catch up or or catch Ho at some point. Because I know I forgot to do that in the um, playthrough I did for this. The prior playthrough I did for this. Because I think I woke up the doggles in this one. I think that's what they would be called, like, legendary doggles. Just put Kimbo in front. But yeah, otherwise, I will say this is. I will say this the uh, Split Pad Pro is a lot better than the um, stock. Joy-Cons we get. Defeated. Is this the floor we could pick up the last Pokemon we got to catch Usagi? Or at least this floor? Um, it can be found on any floor. You just have to keep trying. I forget what the actual encounter rate for it is. I know it's one of the more common encounters. You just can't be sliding on the ice. Right. I'll try the lower floors for a better level. 
Um, let me see. <laughs> Why do I have to say that? I mean, I think it's pretty obvious who the last one is if you're looking at my border art. It's swine up we're picking up. Yeah, I know that. Well, I meant I was talking to the viewers. <laughs> well, I mean, with how tough he is, especially with how bad the leveling curve for this is, I'm just gonna save that fight for the remakes. How are you doing today, by the way, Don? You know, I'm about to jinx this, but wow. No encounters so far. Alright, there we go. Now we can just use Kimball to leave. Alright. Can you use. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. This is a female nunner. Yeah, I, I, that's why I, I fled. Well, I think it's the most common encounter, so... Oh yeah, here comes more Z Zubats to waste my time. Just like how they were wasting my, my time when I was trying to catch uh, Bagon. Well, those are gold packs, yeah, but so. It's, but it's not the most common, not the most common thing in the cave, though. That it'd be swine up. It has a ten percent higher encounter rate than both. Oh. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, it has a ten. What the heck? It has a ten. Swine up has a ten percent higher encounter rate than both of them. What in the world? I guess the world may never know. That's only a 10% chance. Lucky you. I know, right? <laughs> Another goal bat? Which, like I said, doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Well, maybe since I'm in the second floor, a lot of these would be a lot more common. Actually, no. According to Bulbapedia... According to Bulbapedia, they only have a... A 30%... A 30% encounter rate, whereas Swine Up is 40%. Ah. Well, I found one. Okay, here we go. Let's catch it and make our way out post haste. And we'll put him in front because he needs the levels big time. 
Yep, yep, yep. Okay, that land before time quote was totally not intended. No, not really, but it was there. <laughs> yeah. All right, got swine up. Now we got our, got our entire team together. It rubs its snout on the ground to find and dig up food. It sometimes discovers hot springs. Oh, that's cool. How you spell it? Yep. Yep, soldier. <gasps> I was just googling it just to make sure it was right. <laughs> I'm just like looking at pictures of Soldier Field in downtown Chicago. Even though the name is more is actually based on like. Team Fortress Yeah, I know, too. we... Yeah, I know, you showed me. Yep. Well, hey, some, sometimes when something has a common name, you have to be more specific when you put stuff in search engines. <laughs> yep, especially sheep. That's why I made, like, an entire set of playlists of where all these names come from. On my YouTube channel. any TMs that I could teach him. It was something better that he has. Oh. Yeah, I do. And it's called Icy Wind. Should I replace that with powder snow? Soggy? What about powder snow? Oh, I... Yeah, yeah, you can, yeah, replace it. Yeah, replace powder snow with icy wind, that's fine. Well, he had like one extra space, so... That's just cruel. today, by the way, Don. You mean like an advertisement on my channel? Icy wind it on top. Uh, 
Why is it that every... I have no idea, like... <laughs> Honestly, I prefer Furret over Rattata when it comes to those kinds of Pokemon. Maybe even, even Bidoof as well. Oh yeah, you should see all the Bidoof memes. <laughs> like, there's a, there's even a bunch of, like, there's even a bunch of ones where it goes up against Arceus, because, you know, people joke that Bidoof is God. <laughs> the Pokemon God. So, you know, some people actually call their Bidoof Arceus. <laughs> Wow. Look at him, he's, like, I don't even know how the memes got started. All I can tell you is, it just is. I mean, there's like that one Dorkly series that had, like, B Doof as a godlike creature. There's that as well. Runt is defeated, and Strider just hit level 30. So that's nice. Level 50 Charizard, Dragonite, Zapdos, Zizes. Oh my god! Wow. Or what about those those hologram cards with Charizard? I know my sis my eldest sister had that. Oh uh, yeah, now it goes for ridiculous, uh... Well, to be fair, it was- it was relatively easy to get shinies in Gen 2 if you knew how to- if you knew how. Cause, you know that red Gyarados? Yep, I know that. Well, it turns out you can actually use it to get to get shinies. You see, with the way determinant values work in Generation Two, if one pair if one parent is shiny, it increases the chance that the other that the resulting Pokemon will be shiny. You know, at the very least, um, Barbara Streisand didn't put her music to sleep like in Gen 1. Mm -hmm. Yes, I like to call Jigglypuff Barbara Streisand. <laughs> because aside from her horrible attitude, like, her music is so boring, it just puts me to sleep. Like, no joke. Jeez, I didn't know Jesse was in this game. Especially with that Arbok. Alright. Yeah, poisons are weak against psychic. Oh, wait, he doesn't have any psychic moves yet. I forgot. Oh, but seriously, when does he get his own psychic? Move. Soggy? Oh, when does he get a psychic move? Well... He, uh... Doesn't he have confusion? No, he doesn't. Huh, let me see. 
Let me take a look at uh, something here. All right. No, I'm not really scared. <laughs> Okay, that should be a, a bit more easy for Soldier. Oh, nice! That is nice. What's not nice is I forgot to turn on Do Not Disturb on Steam. Right. <laughs> Cat off. Okay, to answer your question, it looks like he's not getting any psychic moves until the post game when we get that psychic TM, unless you want to power grind into level 65, which I do not recommend. That is not a good idea. No kidding. Well, at the very least, so we got something... At least Big Papa and Sheep have been better replacements than Ariados and Magmar. I will say that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it learns Future... He'll learn Future Sight at level 35, but that's a two-turn move. And it does typeless damage, but it's better than nothing, I guess. Right. So, is his team just comprised of Rattatas? Uh, probably. But I mean, when he does get Future Sight at 35, at least have him learn it so he has something. Right. You know, I was hoping it'd be something di different, but nope. No Rattata. Thank God Big Papa has some good defense as well. And take your time, Don.
<laughs> oh, I just thought of this. Like, obviously, I know I'll be grinding my team to the required level for Indigo Plateau. Just like thinking, like, once we defeat Claire, why don't we go pick up a hull in the meantime? Or in between, we head to Indigo Well, Pla yeah, but we have to we have to actually finish the radio tower to actually catch Hole for starters. Oh. You know what? That's actually a pretty good plan, I'd say. Well, I'm just saying, it's not like we can get to Hole as we are. No, we need but the Rainbow Wing, which we don't get until after we beat the radio tower. What level is Hull, is the question. 40, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, at least these Zubats are perfect target practice for, um, Soldier. Hurt himself in his confusion. Now he's no longer confused. Oh, yeah. Icy Wind is pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Do I have any potions? I just thought of this. How, how about, um, well that is, if I can try to get it, maybe we'll wrap up by catching Hull? Who knows? At least try, perhaps. Since I also, since not only do I have to watch my grandma today, but I also, um, got a do laundry as well. Yeah, just use strength before it continues to minimize itself. There we go. But yeah, does that sound good, Usagi? Like, finish up today by catching all after the radio tower? Yeah, you could do that. Alright. At least, let's try, because I know... See, even as a kid, I remember how tough hole was. I gotta pick up some Ultra Balls, assuming... I know where to get them. I need a good chunk, like a good chunk of them.
That, and I also just recently thought of this, like... Instead of Kamomo in Moon, like in Rock, since we're also getting, um, Alo in Marowak... What's this about Alola Marowak? No, I was saying, like, instead of Kamomo, whatever the instead pseudo... Instead of Kamo-o? Yeah, why don't we get, like, um... Lycanroc. Like, the Midnight version. Uh... Oh, Midnight. You're talking about the one that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that sends on two legs. Yeah, I'm like, wait a minute. No, no, no. You're talking about... You said Midnight. I wanted to make sure I heard you right. Yeah. I don't know, because I was watching, like, clips of 1941 Wolfman. I was like, yeah, if I'm going to get Alone in Marowak, why don't I just get, um, Lycanroc while I'm at it? Level 31 for Kimball. I got some antidotes. Wait. Don't I have to go to the basement as well here? Well, for starters, you have to clear this, deal with the... You have to clear this, deal with the... The boss? The yeah, well, who you think is the director, and then that person gives you a key. Yeah, because I remember we were traveling in the basement for a bit. Yeah, but first you have to actually... Yeah, beat Radio Tower as well. Go to the third floor. How many floors are there in the radio tower? But it failed? I didn't know James was also in this as well. Cause he also had a wheezing. Reset. At least Kimball survived that, thank god.
Just took down James? Though it does make me wonder where Meowth is. Time to switch to, um, they have fire punch. That might be handy. Yeah, he does. And another fire punch will do. The floor be sure to do that. I think I'm already on the third floor right now. did I expect? if it uses self-destruct. Yep. At the very least, that helped a lot. And Soldier is now level 23.
Too bad. And you soldier, cause he has ice moves against flying types. That missed. In a way, this is probably good for soldier anyway. Yeah. Because they're not that much higher level than he is, so it's not like... I'm a bit concerned about that Hyper Fang, so... Yeah. That's everybody in this floor. Let's heal up and he head to the fourth floor. By the way, what town? sells Ultra Balls in this game? Um... Mahogany Town and Blackthorn City, I think. I'll check Mahogany after this. Cause obviously I'm just gonna use Ultra Balls against the hull. And I assume you could catch Lugia in this version post-game, right? Yes. Sounds like a plan. And be right back real quick. So, on to the fourth floor? Just a Porygon? I think it's normal type, right? Yes. Yeah, probably be a better idea to switch to someone higher level. I'm back at you, pal. Version 2, what does that do? Changes 
changes its type to one of the types of its moves. Yeah, bad, bad move right there, pal. <laughs> it just went back to a normal type. Like right after I um, switched into um, sheep. Yeah, we'll see about that, pal. We'll see about that. Probably heal them up. Oh, looks like I didn't beat... I have to do this again. The Porygon. Oh, well. At least some soldier will be full health on the bright side. Does make me wonder if Porygon's even useful in a main playthrough. Depends on what you mean by the term. You know, like playing, uh, just playing the story for this game, I suppose? Well, I'm saying in this game it doesn't really do too, too much because its stats are unimpressive and, you know, you can't evolve it until the until the post game. Uh I'm just like looking <laughs> Oh fire type. Oh bad <laughs> move there, pal. Yeah, you surf on the Porygon. Yeah, it looks like you don't really get it on in later gens until post game or through trade. Huh. Like I said. All right, so now at the very least we have our team at full health. Might be easier to take down that guy Zubat now. Hey, you wanna fight, pal? Hurt himself in his confusion. Oh my god, dude! Hurt him- kept hurting himself in his confusion, jeez. So there's one thing where I'm really unlucky and it's like the confusion hit or miss. 
Yeah, I know it's a coin flip, but sometimes it could just be annoying. Yeah. At least I didn't use Confuse Ray this time. To use gold bat. Oh, it's about to level up to 24. Oh, okay, level 33 is when he evolves? Well, since I took out all the trainers here, it's time to, um, head to the center and heal up. On to the fifth floor now to save the director. And now to save the director. Yep, I did. It's good to know that guy is sus.
Now the coughing. Oh, they didn't use self-destruct? That's surprising. Like... One nice thing about not having abilities. Uh, no. I'm just saying it's a shame it took until Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee to not have abilities again. <gasps> Honestly, like, I prefer having abilities since it adds more to the battles. Yeah, but I'm saying there are some times where you're like, uh, uh I just want to break. <laughs> so not having to go all the way back is nice. Right. Another coffee? Although, I should mention that if game frequencies are being subtle, they really, really aren't. Well then again, considering how much content Game Freak cuts, there's that. Well, I was referring to the fact that... You know the DLC? For Violet? Well, for both. And how, um... Yeah, I still gotta pick up my copy for that. You know, I was wondering when a coffee would use that. Well, now you know. Yeah, we'll see, the thing is, the DLC, the second half of the DLC takes place at the Blueberry Academy, and guess where that is? Where? Guess what region it's in. Jono? No, it's Wrong. Anto? Wrong. Owen? Wrong. Sinnoh? Wrong. <laughs> what is it then? It's in the issue region. Oh, Unova. Yes. I'm like, Blueberry Academy is an issue. You are not being subtle in the least. Oh, jeez. Okay, does this guy have anything besides coffee? <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Nope, just all coughings and wheezings. Around warehouse. So this ain't the end of it. Nope. <laughs> okay, actually. <laughs> like I said, I should probably um get to my parents' house as soon as possible to watch my grandma and also do laundry as soon as I can. So maybe I should I'll sign off um yeah, after saving the radio tower.
is what I was gonna say. Get over there. I know this is the train station. So how do I get to the basement? You go, uh, there's another there's another and one of the entrances to the underground is not blocked off and that's how you get down there. Oh, there we go. Jeez, I didn't realize it. I forgot there were trainers here. Yeah, just tackle him, soldier. Yeah, I'm surprised I didn't even get the coin case either. Yeah, I suppose I'll just take on all the trainers in here. Yeah, get rid of this guy too. Yeah, I know I was using this basement floor when I tried using Umbreon and all that, and yeah. Checks the location 
for Licky Tongue, especially in later gen. A victory road. Aim. Now to take on this guy as well. Level 7 Magnemite? I took that out with one hit! Critical as well. That's nice. It's all gonna be Magnemites. Maybe. Hard to say. Yeah. Another critical hit. Nice. I will say this as well, since... Hmm. Yeah, I actually gotta try out the demo for Dragon Quest Monsters, The Dark Prince. Since I heard the demo just came out? It probably did. Yeah, I'll check it out, since I assume... Since Square Enix lets you... So she went for like Final Fantasy 16, Dragon Quest 11, and Treasures. Yeah, it lets you carry over your save from the demo to the main game. Yeah, I think it was the same with the Builders demos too. Hmm. So probably be a good idea to live stream that at some point. Probably the smart idea is just live stream it like. I guess a week before the main game comes out. See you again? Yes, you'll see me plenty of more times. Nurse Joy? You know, do they still even use Nurse Joy and Officer Jenny in the... Animes? Mm, not necessarily. Hmm. Because I know they did retire Ash Ketchum. Yeah. They did. I'm pretty sure he was still 10 years old since 1997. Oh, I did not expect Gene to come in. Oh, at least they added some lore, further lore into the remake for him as well. Where he's like Giovanni's son? Yeah, well, that actually started with the Avengers manga. Oh, okay. But yeah, apparently that was always a thing. They just never implemented it until the remake. Or was it just some random kid just pestering you?
Level 25 for Soldier. And no new moves for him yet. Especially for Ground. Take a while. Yeah, especially for Ground, which would be pretty handy. Actually, I'm gonna put Kimbo. Not gonna do the old switch. Oh, I thought it would have been a Magneton by now. Apparently not. Also, um, use Dig. I just realized as well, like, catching Ho might be a lot easier if I use Thunder Wave first. Uh, just keep Kimbo in front. For now. Yeah, because I have Shadow Ball, which is pretty handy against, um, Haunter. Just took him down with one hit. Nice. About to use Sneasel. But it's a nice type, which means... Bring it in, sheep! In the big city. Or at least from the big city. Yep. <laughs> oh nice, it's burned. Yeah, I'll just use Fire Punch against the Meganium. And he uses Poison Powder on Sheep. Did it actually hit? Yep, it hit. Eh, well, I doubt it matters. It's not like it's... It's just regular poison, not bad poison, so... Right. Thank God, at least, um, I have some ice move. Oh, it's down. Level 34 for sheep. Is it like the recommended level for the Elite Four is around 40? I'd say 40 to 45, depending. I'd go with 45 just to be safe. Well, then again, like I said, I have some Pokemon that could take down the champ's dragon types anyway. And some proper electric moves too, which is nice. Alright, seriously. I think Sheep is too far ahead of everyone else, so... Let's have everyone catch up in the meantime. Another Plano Rattata. Wait, is there a puzzle to this? Yes. I thought so.
be a very good time to heal up as well after that. Yeah, just dancing to the bicycle music. Why not, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I forgot how... Gold and silver have their own different sets of sprites. It's a shame they yeah. didn't do that in the later gens. Mm, they kind of did that. Well, I mean, like, with two different versions, like, um... Like Ruby and Sapphire, for example. Well... Probably the closest we got to that again is Gen 5, because they actually redid a lot of the sprites. Oh, that's interesting. And when does, um, Soldier get, gets like a, um, ground move? Uh, just before the league, unfortunately. Aww. Would be pretty handy against these, like, poison types. I know, but... Yeah. Level 32. Getting there. Yeah, I'm just gonna assume this coffee might have it self-destruct as well. He does? being honest with you? Probably does, yeah. Okay, that will definitely help a lot if, about your secret, pal. Well, when he says secret, he doesn't mean about himself. Well, I meant the puzzle, of course. Mm. Yeah. 
Yep, do it. Yeah, let's use Strider against these guys. Probably bring someone with some decent defense against the coughing. Yeah, let's save again. Can't hurt. Of course, I had to use someone as a meat shield. Eh, what else is new? Yep. Yeah. Now, switching to, um. Yeah, Kimball. Because he has. The only one that could take down poison types easily.
And hi, Sophie. How are you doing today? Hi, Sophie. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> I was wondering when you you would show up since you were offline on Discord. Um, all right. Yeah, it's fine, but the chat it has been, like, extremely quiet. It's just been me and Usagi talking. Yep. I'm gonna assume this thief would have fire types. Probably. Yep, a growlet. Oh my god, at least <laughs> that's a nice change for once. Indeed. Uh, let's play it safe and just put big switch to big papa obviously he has good defense and it looks like it's about to turn into a slap fight That's good to hear, Sophie. Top. Stupid phone. Let me mute myself for a minute. All right. Yeah, let's take out the last possible trainer in this puzzle. Puzzle?
Out to use Magmar. Yeah, once again, just to be safe. <laughs> if it has self-destruct, of course. Yeah, that's what I thought. At least Big Papa survived that. Or more levels for him to evolve. to go through. Hey, Soggy, you still around? Oh, right. Jeez, AFK! Oh, sorry about that. I didn't unmute myself oh. after the phone stopped ringing. Yeah, I'm trying to figure My out... Bad. Trying to figure out how to, um... A while since I did it, so I don't remember the exact pattern. All right. Let's try this. Take care of Jesse or whoever 
is guarding this area. Well, since it is a grass type. Yeah, super effective. But poison powder, though. Level 26? Did I ever tell you guys a story how I remember pronouncing acid as like a kid? Probably did. Uh, to me, at least. Yeah, probably. At least I took down Cassidy. Just, um. I use more antidotes. Jeez. <laughs> actually, I think this. Yeah, actually, I think I should leave this as a cliffhanger. I think I might as well just get ready right now. But yeah, this is actually the very last week I'll be watching my grandma since she'll be moving back to Venezuela. Oh. Yeah, you're, so... You're... Who's, who's she going to live with, your aunt or your uncle? Hmm, yeah, probably... Let's just say one of my mom's brothers will take care of her. Then your uncle, then. Yep, one of my uncle. Yeah, but the thing is, I gotta get my laundry ready as soon as I can, so... <laughs> Yeah, we'll finish There's this. That. Yeah, we'll finish this up Wednesday since I have a lot more time. I have to be there on Wednesday until like five o'clock. So there's that. Um. Let's save as always. And yeah, that's it for Pokemon Go, you guys. You know, I was actually gonna live stream some, yeah, some more Atelier Rise of tomorrow, but <laughs> I just beat like the very first Call of Duty game that came out in 2003. So I thought I might as well live stream that tomorrow instead, since yeah, I won't be able to do much next month since. You know, Spooktober and all that. Well, that's the idea, anyhow. Yeah. I will say this, though. Like, I wanted to mention this, too, but... Because I remember there was a time that it was really cool to hate on Call of Duty, even though I really enjoyed it back then. I wanted to say this. At least the campaigns for them have been a lot better than Halo... Like, 343 Halo's campaign. <laughs> Well, for the most part, at least. So I know I've been really enjoying Infinite Warfare's campaign as well. 
Alright, so yeah, as always, raid. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care!